guest speaker this session. Our first uh, guest speaker, uh, Professor Dr. Muhammad Safar Bahti is an ELT expert with 29 years uh, IELTS and TOEFL teaching and training experience. He's a linguist by profession, teacher, trainer, researcher, and international keynote and plenary speaker by experience. He has published 80 research papers in numerous international peer-reviewed research journals, authored four books, and has supervised extensively. He has conducted and attended scores of ELT workshops and seminars within the country. He has been awarded under the doctor in ELT and uh, applied linguistics by an American university due to his remarkable services in the field of ELT. He's a recipient of multiple national and international awards and gold medals in the recognition of his outstanding academic achievements. Currently, he is teaching in the Islamia University of Bawalpur, Pakistan. So we welcome Professor Dr. Mohamed Sartar Bhatti to give his speech. Welcome, Professor. Thank you very much, sir, for introducing me so nicely. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, Professor. There is no problem. And what about my uh, PPT? Is, is it visible my screen? Yeah, we can see your presentation, sir. There's no problem. Okay, Again. sir. Thank you very much for introducing me so nicely. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to everyone. This is Dr. Muhammad Sardar Bhatti from the Islam University of Bahawalpur, Pakistan. First of all, I would like to thank the ORP organization for inviting me at this forum as a keynote speaker. And the talk topic of my today's talk is using affixes to enrich ESL learners' vocabulary at secondary level, and that is a brief sketch of my talk. Dear audience, language is a weapon for man. It has to be taught and used in social groups. It is the only way to speak with each other, and it is the way by which we can send our messages to others. It is not only used for routine dialogue, but also used in education, research, and science in spoken as well as in written form. Without it, man is like a dumb animal. Proficiency over target knowledge of vocabulary can make our students powerful speakers, handsome listeners, good readers and writers. For learning any language, both the oral and written skills are of equal importance. For this purpose, there is a dying need of interaction among the learners, educator and the study material. In fact, English is being used all over the world as an international language. It has become a lingua franca and a language of greater opportunities. It also enjoys the supreme status in society. Its sound knowledge is a successful password for any job. Dear all, learning a second language is never easy. Learning of vocabulary is the very basic point to expertise it in the target language. Vocabulary acquisition, vocabulary retention, and vocabulary transfer are some confused processes in learning vocabulary. No doubt, the role of vocabulary is very vital in order to language teaching and learning. Mastery in vocabulary will enable the students to enhance other skills as well. Developing vocabulary is a confused series of actions to achieve the results. It takes a long time to master English vocabulary. It makes the learning process more meaningful. Lack of vocabulary is one of the major causes of failure of our students. What the affixes are? Dear all, affixes are an appropriate strategy for ESL learners to develop their vocabulary widely and polish their skill. Prefixes and suffixes are generally known as affixes. Affixes create new words usually by modifying or changing the meaning of a root word. In learning a second language, vocabulary is the most paramount part. It is the soul and essence of a language. It is also first and leading stair in language acquisition. Its knowledge plays an important role in almost all areas of language. So the whole process of learning a language depends on learning its vocabulary. Study of prefixes, roots and suffixes is the most utilized word parts that make 50% of the English language. English vocabulary is marvelous and becomes the part and parcel of social interaction. Gradual practice of prefixes, roots, and suffixes can improve vocabulary of the students. Now we would like to shed light over the importance of affixes for vocabulary development. Dear all, knowledge of meanings of common affixes may help students to generate the meanings of new words that they encounter. Fortunately, words with common affixes, such as return, as a part of most children's of a speaking vocabulary. 
This means that instruction can begin from what students know and proceed to the unknown. Graves and Hammond argue that there are three reasons for teaching prefixes. There are relatively few prefixes and many are used in a large number of words. Most prefixes have relatively uh, constant meanings that are easily definable. Prefixes tend to have consistent spellings. If we talk about the significance of the study, basically words are building blocks of language. So affixes are helpful for improving vocabulary. The positive results of this research will support the English teachers to use affixes for developing vocabulary of their students and even they can change their methods to make the student motivated and relaxed in teaching learning process. This research is expected to be beneficial for the students, teachers, and the institution as well. The objectives of my study were to enhance, to enhance English vocabulary of ESL learners by using affixes, to analyze the effectiveness of affixes for improving vocabulary, to evaluate vocabulary learning strategies between male and female learners, to investigate the techniques used by the teachers for ESL learners' vocabulary development, to find out views of the teachers regarding their beliefs and problems about vocabulary development. My research questions were, is there any significant difference between the achievement scores of overall, pre-test and post-test? Is there any significant difference between the achievement scores of male group, pre-test and post-test? Is there any significant difference between the achievement scores of female group pre-test and post-test? My hypothesis was, in this investigation, the researcher attempted to give a tentative solution to the problem. The hypothesis could be stated as follows. Vocabulary skills of ESL learners can be improved through affixes. There is no difference between scores of control group and experimental group in pre-test. There is difference between scores of control and experimental groups in post-test. Now I would like to move towards the literature review. Dear all, we cannot make all influence without command on English language. English language has become a key to interaction among global community. Today it is spoken and understood almost everywhere in the world. All the administrative issues regarding business, political and academic are discussed in English. In Pakistan, English is being used and understood as second language. It is an essential part from KG to university level. Unfortunately, in Pakistan, English is considered a difficult language due to different structure of vocabulary and pronunciation from local languages. According to Smith, the knowledge of words related to its meaning and clarifications is called vocabulary. Vocabulary learning is the fundamental element in mastering a second language. Vocabulary learning is a confused process of which are vocabulary acquisition, vocabulary retention, and vocabulary transfer. Vocabulary is the soul and essence of a language. Ellen defines vocabulary as all the words of a language, the total words used to comprehend. A learner who recognizes what a word means can use other words instead of word, that specific word. The aim of developing vocabulary of ESL learners has been planned by many EFL professionals. According to Stoller, the development of vocabulary is necessary for both native and non-native learners. Zandi explore that first and second language cannot be comprehended without vocabulary knowledge. Hultajin believed if one does not know the meaning of the word occurring in the text, understanding is severely hampered. 20 teachers and 60 students from the Islamic University of Bahawalpur, Pakistan participated in this study. It was an experimental type of research based on quantitative approach and stratified random something was done. A questionnaire for the teachers and pre-test and post-test for the students were used as a tool to collect the data from the respondents. And that is the pre-test and post-test results of the control group. And that is the pre-test and post-test results of the experimental group. And that is the pre-test and post-test results of overall control groups analysis. And that is the overall experimental group analysis. Now I would like to move towards the findings and the conclusions. Dear all, affixes are an interesting vehicle of teaching vocabulary. There is very much difference in the result of pre-test conducted before teaching the lesson according to the plan of the researcher and post-test after the favorable accomplishment of the research task. 
it is not deniable reality that fixes are perfect means for ESL learners to improve their vocabulary, it was concluded that when a teacher creates a learning environment in the uh, classroom by using affixes, then naturally the student's response is positive. In the end, I would like to give you some suggestions and recommendations. Dear all, there must be utmost need to develop vocabulary, so vocabulary must be given more importance in the language teaching to command them in the language being taught. The researcher further recommends that English language teachers should use affixes for teaching English in general and for improving vocabulary in particular. The public schools may be equipped with the libraries, language labs, and audio-visual materials such as tape recorder, video player, overhead projector, multimedia, and such facilities may properly be used for developing vocabulary of the ESL learners in the subject of English. And these were some references from which I got the help. And thanks for your patience and any question, please. And that's all, my dear all, from my side. Okay, thank you so much, Professor. Is there any questions or any contributions? Okay, there seems to be no questions for now, Professor. Thank you again. Thank you so much for your presentation. So nice of you. So thank you very much. Of course. Evet değerli katılımcılar şu anda sıradaki konuşmacımız oturumda ilerliyor.